What is up everybody, Cross is Crypto here, back in the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be giving away $250 worth of e-gold once we hit 5,000 subscribers. So again, make sure you guys are supporting the channel. I do have a link tree, it has all my links, one-stop shop for everything. Crossless Crypto, make sure you guys check it out. It's in the link down in the description and comment section down below. So guys, I'm back again. We're doing a video on Elrond. As you guys can see here, the price is actually up by 6%. It's sitting at $153. I made a video probably two or three days ago. It was around 137, 140. So we do see a price pump right now. A lot of things are happening in the pipeline. As we know, the Myrdex is going to be adding a lot more tokens. So if we look at the overall market, I mean, things are not up that much. Bitcoin's up by 1% today, around 4% this week, the past seven days. Ethereum's up 12% the past seven days. And I like to look at the overall market when I talk about eGold because obviously a lot of altcoins follow Bitcoin. I'm, again, I'm not worried about the price right now. Uh, you guys got to think long term. Look at last year. Look at the prices last year. I mean, people made a lot of money and a lot of things have been going on in the background in terms of technology, in terms of, you know, building stuff. I remember Elrond specifically didn't even have their Meyer decks, you know, uh, freshly went on their mainnet probably with the end of 2020. So a lot of stuff is, you know, being worked on behind the scenes. People do not see that. All they care about is the price and the charts. And it's, it shouldn't be about that, but obviously people are here to make money. What I like to do is make value. I want to see an increase in value, not so much the dollar sign, but the value of what it offers uh, to people and what the blockchain technology can bring ultimately. In my opinion, that's what I like to see. So guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but a year ago, the hardest working team joined forces with the most amazing community to create the Meyer app. The super app that allows anyone to be on Web3 in just seconds. So guys, the Meyer app actually hit one years old. So happy birthday. Uh, awesome milestone here. I didn't realize that it actually came out in February. I think I found out about Elrond around March, April timeframe when I started this channel. And what I like to see here is the fact that it's been running awesome. Um, a year is a huge milestone for their app. Very good reviews on iOS from my um, knowledge and my perspective. And they're coming out with a dark mode. So their dark mode's coming on Android and then iOS to follow. So I think that's something that a lot of people have been waiting on. They've had the dark mode for their Meyer decks, the dark mode for their web wallet. And we've been waiting for a Meyer app dark mode. So this is awesome stuff. And I can't wait to get this update on my phone. All right, guys. So if you guys don't know, uh, hollow ride is having a meta staking uh, event announcement here. So they have been released this news. Like, apparently people have been waiting for this. Uh, we're excited to announce the introduction of the ride meta staking on the Mar exchange in collaboration with our tech partner L1 network. So let's take a look and read what they have to say. So over the course of 12 months, a total of 21.75 million ride will be distributed to token holders underlining our long-term commitment to building a vibrant and engaging ecosystem we're calling the innovative program metastake as it combines DeFi's trinity of staking liquidity providing and yield farming in a unique way on the Myra exchange a battle of yields test event will be initiated shortly and once completed staking will go live on the Myra exchange in the upcoming weeks with Go Live, you'll be able to stake both Ride and the eGold Ride liquidity pool farm tokens and earn Ride rewards with them. And we will share further details in the next couple of days and keep you posted about everything you need to know about our Ride staking program. So, for those who know, when the Ride first launched, they had an initial staking program. I want to say initial staking program, but on the Meyer Dex, you're able to stake your locked MEX, right? The incentive and generate Ride. Now they're actually launching a dedicated staking pool where you can make more ride off of not only your eagle ride liquidity pool farm tokens uh, but you're also your ride so staking your ride for more ride i don't think that is something that's in the Meyer deck set so this is actually pretty good uh if you guys want to you know make more ride tokens the price of ride has stabilized around i think a dollar 21 and you guys got to put this into perspective i think the private sale was like two cents or something like that. So imagine the amount of gains that people have made if they're participating in that private sale. But uh, this is awesome stuff and it shows that, uh, you know, this silence, it was not for nothing. 
They are working on stuff and this meta staking event is going to be happening. So coming from the Benny Maminku Elrond side, they stay here. So a powerful Meyer exchange innovation that combines the staking, liquidity providing and yield farming into a compelling new product. So it's an uh, three for one package pretty much. And they unveil this. So if we go to the actual blog post here and see what it says. So the meta staking is an innovation that is unique to the Meyer Dex and for the first time combines all three of those you know tools or mechanisms into one package meta staking is complementary to regular lp staking farms and compound the utility of lp token farming with classical token farming into a new hybrid concept that yields rewards for both so from my perspective here not only will you be making your regular liquidity pool fees right that you have for providing the liquidity you'll be able to stake those like how we're able to stake it on the myrdex for ride tokens so it's not only are you be able to generate locked max, you're also able to generate ride tokens. So they're expanding this capability of actually you know, using money to make money, which is awesome. They provide a simple way for token holders to stake them for the long term and earn rewards, right? So more importantly, they offer additional income stream for liquidity providers, again, who now earn a third type of reward. So incentives here are huge. Not only are you getting, like I said, those fees, you're going to get some ride tokens and you're going to continue to get locked max tokens which is very, or max, depending on what you want to do. And the first meta stake will be dedicated to the Hollow Ride Ride token and the Metaverse Pioneers. We would have staked both Ride and Eagled Ride LP farm tokens. So again, kind of like how we're already doing it, you have your max that you earned, your locked max, you can stake that locked max and make more locked max with it. So it's the same kind of mechanisms here. Instead, it's Ride. Eagled Ride liquidity uh, provider, again, will earn these rewards and then 21.7 million ride tokens be offered as a meta staking reward over a period of a year. So it's not just a month now. They've expanded this to a year, a lot more ride tokens to be distributed. And the ride meta staking is scheduled to go live in February. So it's actually gonna be happening this month. We're already in February of this year, guys. So pending successful public testing. So they again have that battle of the yields. They wanna make sure that it runs right. You know, nothing crazy like the Meyer Dex experience probably, you know, a couple months ago. And, you know, the novel liquidity providing incentives and income stream provided by Meta Staking will make the Meyer Dex into perhaps the most compelling DeFi platform that will lead the coming wave of Web3 innovation. So huge stuff here. Again, hopefully, it, you know, kind of gathers more people from outside the space wanting to make a little bit of money, a little bit of value. Uh, and as a result, kickstart the price back up from its lows of 140 you know and actually i think it went all the way down to 120 so again it's happened multiple times but eagle always uh makes new hires higher highs and you know i have full confidence in the ecosystem that uh you know to worry a sliver of a second about price movements so guys also this is coming from lucian minku the elrond network explorer just got a new awesome update making it easier for anyone to find a specific transaction and explore the chain functions in real time. So any type of uh, Elrond standard digital token transfers, NFT transfers, swaps, and every other transaction type are now labeled accordingly. This is very important. Say you want to look a transaction up. You know, it shows you now the method that this transaction was conducted. It was a transaction, regular buy NFT transaction, a swap, a withdraw, uh, interform and locked rewards, compound rewards. And this is such a organized, people want to use the Explorer or you should be able to use the Explorer to actually explore and search up transactions, going to what addresses. All of this is made public right on the blockchain. As you guys can see here, it's in taking a step further and labeling it where you're able to uh, see exactly what type of transaction it was. And you're not just guessing. Uh, say it was a, again, deposit. Then you could be able to see, okay, so he probably just moved this from one thing to another. Or if it was a NFT purchased, again, it will label it as such an NFT purchase. So awesome stuff here. Um, again, they really want you to use the Explorer. This is not something that's just there as a shiny toy. Uh, you know, definitely packing more and more features as time goes on. And for those who have not been aware of this, you, you're able to look it up here. Again, just go on that link on his Twitter, or you guys can just search it up, Elrond Explorer. You guys should be able to find it. All right, guys, so next up, I know I talked to you guys in my last video about how they're gonna be adding more tokens. So their new token listing process is ready and will get 
into it right after uh, I share it with you guys today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Atlas VPN. Get the best VPN deal in the market by enjoying the most affordable online protection for just $1.99 per month with a 30 day money back guarantee. Not only will you be able to enjoy blazing speeds from the comfort of your own home, enjoying your favorite shows or upgrading your gaming experience at a lightning fast speed, but you guys can protect unlimited devices through Atlas VPN with a single subscription. Not only that, you'll be able to stop ads and malware, keeping your crypto safe, keeping your assets on your computer safe from any kind of malicious links, ads and trackers, or anybody who are trying to steal your data. Lastly, you guys are able to save some coins while shopping online. Get the best deals, including online subscriptions such as Netflix and Spotify, airlines, hotels, and more. Really quickly guys, use the link atlas.pn slash crustless and you guys will be able to uh, get to this site here and it's 82% off. It's a super deal right now. So three years guys, a three year plan for only $2 a month, $1.99 a month, super cheap. For a VPN service, uh, very, very affordable. And I actually support this 100%. I mean, look at the difference of what they offer compared to other competitors within their field. So Atlas VPN, again, unlimited devices, 4K fast streaming, 24 seven support, wire guard protocol, ad blockers, how everyone likes to block ads, emo protection, and again, only for $1.99 a month. Make sure you guys go and check this out. Make sure you guys use the link that I will have in the description and you guys have already saw it above me, below me, wherever. And compatible with pretty much everything from Windows, iOS, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and they have servers from literally all around the globe. 30 day money back guarantee. Honestly, you guys can't worry about that. I mean, if they give you 30 days money back guarantee to keep your network safe, keep your assets, whatever that you have, whether it's, you know, files on your computer or whether it's your webcam, uh, you know, being able to use a VPN, a virtual private network, right, enables you to be um, secure and be safe, right? And, uh, they don't have access to your direct IP address. They can't patch in uh, at their own rim. So again, guys, check it out. And thank you, Atlas VPN, for sponsoring this video. All right, so he breaks it down for us, Benjamin Minku here. So again, everything starts in the test net. Uh, he states here that token owners can go to the liquidity tab and under active pools, click on the create a new pair. Process is self-explanatory. You can find any detail. Again, they did do a blog post about this. You can uh, complete the process and then you share your newly created smart contract address with your supporters and the broader Myrdex community. Again, they'll import it, test it, add liquidity and start trading on the testnet. And I'll show you guys the testnet in just a second here uh, later on in this video. But look, the 100,000 US dollars threshold for enabling swaps is not implemented on the testnet, but you can tag an admin on Telegram with your smart contract address and a kind request to enable swaps. So I'm pretty sure in order for you to actually list it on the official Myrdex, you have to go through multiple steps, but you also need to have probably $100,000 of liquidity. Uh, so you're, it's just not super small, low cap gem, like coins, I'm sorry, but it's like $10,000. Uh, they, you know, cause then it'll flood the entire decks with coins with no value. Uh, you know, people are just trying to get pump and dumps. So they want you to at least have a hundred thousand dollar threshold. I'm sure they're going to release more information on this, but, uh, they can't be more excited about this major milestone, the bootstrapping of the Meyer decks. New listings will open a new growth cycle for the Mex economy and the broader Elrond network ecosystem. This is the wave, and it all starts from one coin expanding to three, four, five, ten, and then people are wanting to use the Meyer decks to swap for the tokens that they want. All right, guys, so I want to talk about Eyes on Guard again. So they already announced that they're going to be releasing their token on the Meyer decks in February this month, but they kind of gave a little bit more information. So I want to cover it for those who are, you know, very interested in the Eyes on Guard uh, token. So Eyes It's Listening is just around the corner. With that, the first brick to Isengard's DAO's future. As our vision always was, this token should belong to the people and should be used for governing. So those being said, we want to make sure everyone aware that the price will probably be highly volatile. Think of the ride token, guys, how the price went up to like six, six, seven, eight dollars and people bought in and then lost all their money. It was horrible. Uh, you don't want to do that. Don't if I were you and you want to swap, uh, make sure you guys take risk management and make sure you guys actually look at the price that you're buying the token for, because I don't want you guys to be buying things at a super high price and then you're losing money and then you're going to be upset. So they also let, they also let us know this. So I respect them for that. Uh, please trade safely and don't invest what you cannot lose. 
The team took all the precautions to make sure that the ISIT liquidity is enough and does not go below Elrond's threshold, which is $100,000, right, in US dollars. Thus, the swaps will not be disabled. They will disable, uh, so that's actually surprising. They will disable the swaps if that threshold gets decreased. In addition to all this, we want to remind everyone that providing liquidity by the community is the DeFi way. And until we have a dedicated farm in the Meyer Dex, we will launch one ourselves on our platform. So they're going to have to put up the liquidity up front. And then once the community, once the it kind of becomes more decentralized, right, more say, for example, me, I want to start providing liquidity and a whole bunch of other people that makes up to that hundred thousand, you know, kind of pool. Then they can kind of take the brakes, the training wheels off and take a step back and let the community provide that liquidity because it's decentralized. So if you choose to provide liquidity for the ISIT eagle, you can soon use that LP to gain even more ISIT. So they're going to be installing that feature, kind of like how the ride token that we just talked about or Max right now, be able to make more ISIT using the money that you already have, the ISIT that you already have. Also, because we really want to pair to be self-sufficient, we will also give out an incentive of 10 million lock max in total split between 20 random liquidity providers above the threshold of one eagle in the first two weeks. So they are incentivizing that. Look, we'll give you some more. We'll give you guys lock max if you guys uh, provide this liquidity and the kind of incentives once the farm is up and running. Uh, I said it's here to stay. We're here for the long term and all the patience and trust will pay off. So that's reassuring that they're saying we're not here to pump and dump you guys. We're not here just to make money. Uh, we're here to actually be a part of the ecosystem, be a part of the team. And that is why I cover them. And that is why I support them because what they're doing, I think is pretty cool. All right, guys. So let's actually take a look at the Meyer decks here. So this is the test net. Uh, if we go to, again, analytics and you go to the tokens, you guys can see this is where they're going to be adding kind of tokens to play with, you know, that are going to be then listed on the actual live Meyer deck. So you have the ride. You have some new tokens here. So you have Luck, Mars, BSK, Tyro. So a lot of these are probably not actual coins uh they are most likely just test coins they're just playing around with it but it just shows that uh one day this list is going to be over 100 different tokens swapping on the Meyer decks uh, i can i can feel that as a fact so if you guys would like to come over here and just play around get your faucet of uh you know fake e-gold or whatever and start playing around with the farming uh, liquidity pools again it's good practice you don't have to actually use real money for this you can just use a fake wallet and everything is virtual right everything is just a test so make sure you guys are keeping that in mind if you guys would like to look at just type in testnet.myra.exchange or you guys can google it uh, again just check the link make sure it is secure and it is the one that i have uh, listed in my description down below so lastly guys that's kind of it with the eagle news i want to talk about tax so if you're a US citizen uh, this is kind of something we have to deal with with the United States government, right? So Mr. Will had posted here, wow, those 1099K emails from crypto.com are hitting a little different. In the USA, wow. Anyone else? So yeah, um, he states here that, hey, Secretary Yellen, you're taxing us on unrealized capital gains. That didn't pass, but it seems this way. Anyone else get a wild form? So yes, I actually got a wild form. So I'm actually gonna bring some pictures up for you guys that I actually received. So this email I got from Forest Dax Incorporated, uh, track 1099 crypto support. They emailed me and they're like, hey, your 1099K, which is a tax form for the US citizens, is ready. You know, go into the site and download it. Some people thought it was spam. So I downloaded it, right, and I opened it up and I'll actually gonna show you guys a little snippet here. Uh, this is what I found. So three boxes, probably the most important boxes you want to pay attention to when it comes to this form. It said my gross amount of payment card slash third party network transactions was seventy one thousand dollars and eight hundred. Uh, you know, OK, 51 transactions, seventy one thousand dollars. I'm like, what is this? So uh, other people have like one hundred, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars on theirs. But like. I did not know what this meant. Did, does this mean that I owe the IRS, you know, tax on $72,000? Like, did, did they really think I made $72,000 off cryptocurrency? So this is kind of like my thought process going on. Like, I got kind of nervous. Like, I definitely did not make $72,000 last year uh, in cryptocurrency. I didn't sell any of it. Uh, I'm actually down if you think about it. So I, I was really interested to you know, kind of wondering why uh, I got this, you know, tax form. And I watched this dude. His name is uh, Speak NC, Speak and see. I don't know why I couldn't read that. And he actually talks about it, the crypto IRS tax retirements, 1099K forms being sent. So he kind of brought this to my attention. You know, I looked it up. I was like, what is this? I'm trying to get the meaning of this. And 
uh, in the comment section down below, someone commented. So uh, take it for face value. I don't believe everything I see on the internet, but this made sense. And this is a YouTuber or this was a subscriber or whatever you want to okay? He commented saying, I just figured it out. Don't freak out. 1099K is just total transactions you made. So if you sold 100 worth of crypto, it adds up to total transactions and not the profits. So 1099K is reported to the IRS, but it doesn't show gains and losses. You only have to report gains and losses and 1099K is just form for total transactions. So, um, <laughs> so he wanted more clarification, this dude named Michael. So Sam Hawks, he further elaborated, you only have to report the gains and losses. The 1099K doesn't show either, so you don't have to file that. Depending on what exchange you use, the tax form will be ready by February 12th. I will be honest with you and tell you that I don't like crypto for this reason. When I invest in stocks, my capital gains doesn't need to be reported. So I'm only sticking to one crypto platform and making limited transactions for sole reason, a tax headache. So yes, guys, so it made super sense to me. So that number that you guys saw right on here, I'm sorry, I'm bringing the other one up. Uh, this is just crypto.com, how much transactions? It could have been the same amount of money. Say uh, I send five grand to one wallet, then I withdraw it, put it back in the crypto.com. Uh, it's $10,000. It's just the combined amount of transactions that you have done. It doesn't basically show you uh, how much you actually made or how much you lost. So that kind of reassured me, makes sense. You only need to report uh, what you lost or what you gained. So say I sold $50,000 worth of crypto, right? And I had originally put in 10,000. That's $40,000 of capital gains. Again, I don't have to pay 15 to 30% of tax based on how long I held that right short term or long term. Uh, I'm not a tax professional, obviously, but this is kind of something that I know. Uh, basically, you don't have to worry about this unless you sold. And you, I think as long as you report what you feel like, you know, that's probably the most important thing, uh, you know, instead of just not reporting it all together. So Finally, I got another email from them not too long ago, uh, crypto.com tax. So they said, you're receiving this email because you received a form 1099K. Please disregard this form. So the form they gave me, disregard it. Probably a lot of people were freaking out. Uh, we've issued the form 1099 miss to users who meet the criteria. You are crypto.com, you're a US person, and then you have earned 600 more. I did not receive this form at all yet so because I, I don't think I made $600 off my initial investment uh, on paper, right? So... With that said, I do not have to worry about this, and I hope you guys don't have to worry about it either. In the U.S., uh, this is definitely concerning to people, right, when they see $75,000 in gross amounts. So, again, hopefully that reassures you guys uh, in the U.S. If you guys are not U.S. and still watching, you guys can disregard this part. But, yeah, uh, I was a little scared myself. So, guys, let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, a lot of updates are coming out in the Meyer Dex. Let me know what you guys wanna, want me to cover. Uh, if it's other coins, if it's, you know, stuff, specific things with Elrond. I always have people hitting me up on my Twitter. Uh, hey, Crestless Crypto, check this out. You know, check this out, check that out. I, I love it when I get ideas. You know, it's hard to make ideas sometimes for videos. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.